Greetings, traveler. It's not a bad Mally lobby. Let's go Mally. Babbler. It's a triple, but we don't care. Can, uh, buy Apple now and buff the whole shop by selling the scout. Get a two drop on our board and buff the whole shop. Cards to the hand is not that difficult, but I want the two turn vault. I guess I'm just gonna go with buy 10, but this is true. Yeah, I'm just gonna hero power this first and I think I prefer apples and just buff a guy. Oh no, I need to buy carts. Okay, that's not bad. I was gonna go apples, but it didn't really end up making sense because we just kept hero powering good things. I should have used one uh, spellcraft on the lurker in the shop though. This uh, apples and uh, buy two lurkers is really strong. <laughs> then you have taunts with this guy, but. Bob wants you to play Naga. No, this doesn't matter too much. I don't know if I want to waste gold here. I don't think I do for apples. I want to go refiner. That's better than this then. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. I'm gonna go for the six, I think, with the lurker, and then go into. Um, Go for a 6 with the Lurker and then go into Spell Generation and hope to just play Naga. We can also just play Beast. It makes more sense to grab a 5 based on the gold, but I want a 6 drop. You could technically sell the Hummingbird and keep the Spellcrafts. If we're trying to push into Naga. That makes it worth to sell this. If I hero power this and it turns into this, it's bad news though. I don't think we... I think we just unfreeze this. Actually, I could unfreeze apples. 
That's not bad, but I don't think I freeze it. I'm gonna lose one spawn, but so be it. I don't really have anything I can put in this place. And then because this is farming gold, we can get these two. Hmm. This is actually a pretty uh, complicated sequence. But it lines up pretty well. We're gonna we're gonna buy our tenth minion next turn, and we're going to have a setup where we um, have two six drops and the corpse refiner plus patient scout are gonna pay for it. So we're actually gonna be able to get all of it because it's a really good board for corpse refiner. Taunted lava lurkers with crabs on them and double mana saber. Pretty uh, pretty silly. Very creative early game, actually. Quite the creative early game. Yeah, Scout is uh, maybe just Mana Saber. I can reroll sixes, but this one's pretty good. This one's also pretty good. I don't think fluidity is worth it. We'll just grab money here. Beast Naga, so I can gain plus two plus two on my lasso. Or I can bank a reroll in a pair, but three three lasso's a mech. Oh yeah, you're right. That makes it uh, much better. Probably worth keeping, actually. It doesn't matter. Token hero power. Yeah, it took a little bit to get set up, but we got pretty strong because we used apples on the Lava Lurker triple. That really paid off. spells for disaster and it's about halfway done that's pretty uh monk ass for them yeah i'm just gonna go up and pull shit so nala's not bad trigger battle cry evolve it's gonna be nagas or nala i think nala with these two take money Nice. I could lasso, but I'd rather just have the thing. Sell my beasts, keep my turtle. That'll do some damage. Probably just the wolf here. We're gonna get rid of this at some point, but not yet. Surprise is pretty good. Oh, never mind. Two of those. Actually, I can use this. Right? If I have two on the board, it's more likely that I buff it. I guess I re-rolled the surprise then. I can buff a phalanx, but I'd rather just set up. I might still go Naga here. Mulnaga next turn. I used the overconfidence for some tempo and if we get lucky we get a big payoff. Overconfidence gives this more HP and then maybe it value trades the way it does right now and then you get another spell and it's just like a snowball effect. I think I'm gonna try to sell out of Lava Lurker this turn. 
Unless I go full Naga, right? Gonna have Mool Naga, and then if I get Lord of Gains, we'll just keep the lasso and ditch the turtle instead. Alright, this is a really good setup now. Man, I really like how we played this. It's not a straightforward game at all. Very, uh... We did not follow a normal curve. Not a terrible evolve, I'll start with that. Gonna quickly check for more Nala or Lord of Gains. Maybe triple. Beast Pivot? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Let's check with these guys. Greta is really good. That's a pirate. It's probably a Nala. It's probably a Nala Compton. Um, I've already cast this, but I think I'll just take stats. I don't think I'm going to go double end of turn. Alright, so look for more Nala or maybe a pivot. Fighting a beast player. I'm not going to buy the shield, I think. It's pretty expensive. I'll try to get it for free. I just want economy and uh, good shit. There we go. Mm, does that make sense? I think I banked that, right? We gains, we pivot. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. I've already cast the coin, but not this, right? Actually, the fucking magnetic is gonna block spells now. Because I'm suddenly way richer than I thought I was. Actually, only one though, right? I'm on six. Seven, eight. Yeah, I'm gonna lose one spell. And then spellcrafts are gonna come in. Oh, actually, no, I don't get any of these because it's gonna triple. And my hand is full. Damn, that's annoying. It's okay though. Like, we're in a good spot. We're in a great, great spot. Like, this is a great spot. It's just. The end of turn got a little bit too complex for me there. I should have burned the coin there because um, my hand size. Double shield. We could stagger them. We don't have to. <sighs> it's fun to play Naga. One of my favorite types. Dragons and Nagas. I really like playing. Oh, it doesn't triple yet. Hmm. I wonder if we can cheese that. Wait, maybe I can get the Greta spellcraft first. Does that work? Oh wait, they just don't triple? Oh, because I don't have hand space the whole time. Yeah, I don't have hand space the whole time. So I just have to keep making hand space, I like keep that. Wow, this is a very complex sequence. Need a merman. Ooh. Oh, okay. Go big or go home, I always say. Destroy the surface dwellers. The surface dwellers. You down a minion and up a gold.
Lord. <laughs> Triple Lord gains golden? <laughs> With Drakari spell and a million spells played. Wow. I didn't even realize what I was doing it until I was doing it. I was like, oh! Oh, I have three golden gains. No, oh, nice. Let's go. <laughs> now I think... Does it triple first or do I get the Greta? My hand isn't full this time, right? My hand isn't full this time, so I need new Lord of Gains now. Uh, oh my god. It's gonna triple immediately, right? No, 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 no. No, I can keep them! I can keep them! No triple! Lul! Stay! Stay the way you are, thank you very much. I got guns, right? Yeah, I've gunned twice. So I can, I can start with Fluidity. These are strong, independent Lord of Gains. They don't need no golden. Um, so I just need to burn cards now. Okay. Taunt this guy. Yes. Uh, fluidity for next turn. I don't know, I probably want to... Yeah, I want a separate card. Oh, that's actually a lot of work. Brand's Blessing wouldn't suck right about now. A mole triple? Hmm. Fighting beasts. I can't wait to see this shake out. Feel the beast. That'll do some damage. I guess I should use this just for a spell. You got this. You're way ahead. I know double end of turn this time, but still. Pretty silly. Oh, did I not golden this gains? No! I forgot. I thought, oh, I'll just golden the glow scale for an extra shield. No, my perfect triple golden gains plan. Alright. Do I keep them? I, st I still think I keep them, right? Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, weird game. <laughs> weird, weird game. Beast 7, so no Titus here. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is that, dude? Nice. This is such a cool interaction. Oh, it's shield. I thought I had to go. No. This goes right now. So I need another fluidity. I need double end of turn. And I guess I want uh, Sindore. Sindore and Untaunts, but I'm probably not gonna matter to her. So Fluidity is still good. It's pretty expensive. But spells are really nice. That's not better. I want to find the um, card to end on her. I 
sits that. I'm actually gonna untaunt this. They're bigger than us. I was right in looking for economy. Um, yeah, economy and the... I need to untaunt these and run uh, regular Matador and Sindora. Just need to push for that. Could have ended on Tumbleweed Venom. Yeah, that's horrible. I, I Sorry, you, you just didn't see they were beast, right? Why would I want to Tumbleweed? I guess I have taunted chicken. Oh, wait. It goes up before chicken. So half of the time it's good. Half of the time it's horrible. I take it back. With Taunted Chicken, Tumbleweed is playable, but still, we don't know they have Taunted Chicken, so it's not like we would have done that. Oh, this is actually way smaller than I thought it'd be. Oh, they don't have Titus. Yeah, I guess so. I just saw a Golden Banana, a regular Banana, I was like, oh man, they're huge. Hmm, it's already bigger, and now we can just find... we can find tech. Ah, we didn't dodge. I needed more cards in my hand. Oh my god, that's big. Sindora is the best one, right? Matador is also not bad. I guess I now only need one untaunt, which I already have. It's not bad. I'll take this again. Flibidity was really good. I guess I'll still take it, it's fine. I need another one of these, basically. I lost a lot of scaling here. I need to play a bit faster. Not easy, but we got the main things out. The gold on the other banana, oof. <laughs> Very good, Matador. Very good play there. We're close to countering them, though. Now we just need a Sindore. We have fluidity on the regular gains on the other one and then gun it again. <laughs> 12 damage instead of 6, that's great. Oh. Just 35 because of ugh, when are they gonna fix that? I can't think of a single person that is like, you know what? I think it's a great idea that this six drop can deal 12 damage instead of six. Alrighty then, I guess we have a 0.2% lethal. <laughs>